Hello friends, how are you all? Uh, in this video, we are going to start a new lesson. Uh, lesson number five, which is on inclusive growth. Inclusive growth is a very, very important topic for UPSC mains examination. And definitely there is one or two questions every year in GS3 paper on this topic. So we have to understand what is inclusive growth? What are the features of inclusive growth? What does it exactly mean? Uh, what are the different uh, steps uh, or policies that the government has been undertaking from many years in order to ensure that the growth in India is inclusive? Uh, this topic uh, we have also studied a little bit in the previous videos uh, whereby we talked about the planning in India right, and mobilization of resources, what is inclusive growth and why it matters. So in this video or this lesson in particular, we will study in detail about this topic. So first of all, let us see what is the definition of inclusive growth. Inclusive growth refers to an economic growth process that creates opportunities for all. So this is an important word, opportunities for all. All segments of society and ensures that the benefits of increased prosperity are shared equitably. So sharing of economic growth benefits and giving opportunity to everyone. These two are the important points when you talk about inclusive growth. So in paper also, if a question comes on inclusive growth and if you are asked to explain what is inclusive growth, don't forget to mention these two important points. One is opportunities for all and one is shared benefits by every section of society. Now it emphasizes both the pace and pattern of growth, meaning what, how much is the growth rate, whether it is 7%, 8%, 10%, whether it is more or less, and also the pattern of growth. Pattern of growth meaning how this growth is affecting the different sections of society, which particular sector it is affecting, which particular state it is benefiting, right? So that pattern of growth also needs to be seen. It emphasizes both the pace and pattern of growth to achieve a broad based improvement in living standards and reduction in poverty and inequality. So the ultimate goal of inclusive growth is to reduce poverty, to reduce inequality and to improve the living standards of the people. Now inclusive growth goes beyond mere economic expansion. So here we are not just talking about economic growth but it also focuses on ensuring that the marginalized and disadvantaged groups have access to opportunities for participation and benefit from economic progress. So see again the same thing I am repeating here. Again if you look at it very minutely it is talking about the same two things which we have mentioned here. This is the first and this is the second one. Opportunities for all and shared, shared benefits equitably. Same thing we are talking about here. It is basically, uh, you know, access to opportunities for participation and benefits from economic progress for everybody, for marginalized section and disadvantaged groups also. Inclusive growth seeks to bridge the regional, social and economic disparities. Disparities meaning inequalities. Okay, Dis disparities means inequalities while promoting sustainable development. Now, what are the various features of inclusive growth? Uh, you know, what defines inclusive growth? What are the different characteristics? Features meaning, you know, what defines it? For example, if there is a person, there are there are some features of that person that, you know, his height is this much, color is this like this, hair is like this. Then, you know, his voice is like this, his education is this. So they, these are the different characteristics which define a person. Similarly, what defines inclusive growth? How you can say that a growth is inclusive growth or not? So we will see those uh, points here, those features here. The first important point is broad based growth, that the growth is broad based. Broad based meaning it is benefiting larger sections of society, more people and not just a few people in the country. So it is a broad based growth, meaning what? Growth is seen across sectors, meaning manufacturing, agriculture, industry, service, different sectors are seeing the growth and also different regions. So various regions meaning the state of Maharashtra as well as UP, as well as Tamil Nadu, as well as Odisha, as well as Assam, as well as Manipur, as well as Jammu and Kashmir, as well as, uh, you know, any other state in the country, 
all are seeing the benefits of growth and not just one particular state also it is seen across different sectors agriculture industry service sector and benefit from both for both rural and urban areas growth is also seen in both rural and urban area so that is the broad based growth that is the first feature so whenever we are analyzing any growth we have to see whether it is broad based or not if it is then we can say that that growth is an inclusive growth second one is reduction in poverty and inequality whether the growth is leading to reduction of poverty in india or not whether it is redu whether it is reducing the inequalities or not by enabling access to basic services like education health and sanitation how we can reduce poverty how we can bring people uh, you know uh, from poverty out by giving them good education so that you know they can become employable by giving them good healthcare facilities so that you know the uh, you know the healthy population will be more productive by give them better sanitation so by giving them better basic services we are ensuring that poverty is reduced economic opportunities for all so to reduce the inequality everybody should have opportunity to find proper and just employment in the system so whether this is happening or not that that we have to basically see employment generation so whether employment is getting generated or not so this is actually a central feature of inclusive growth if there is no employment generation we cannot say that the growth is inclusive to provide sustainable and decent job opportunities ensuring livelihoods and income securities again this is another feature of inclusive growth then whether there is social equity and justice or not social justice is an important thing it promotes social inclusion by empowering the vulnerable group like women minorities disabled sections like uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes whether they are benefiting or not whether they are being given social justice or not we have to ensure that they are participate in the economic activities again it is it comes under the broad umbrella of opportunities for all right so these are the two uh, broad umbrellas which you can remember opportunities for all and sharing of benefits by all access to basic services equitable access to quality health care education clean water sanitation and housing these are the basic services uh, that has to be given to the uh, people so that um uh, you know we can say that the growth is inclusive one sustainability environmental sustainability ensuring resources are utilized responsibly without compromising the needs of the future generation so this is called intergenerational equity when we talk about inclusive growth we just don't talk about the equality or equity within the different section of society at a particular point of time but we also talk about sustainability for the future generations okay so it is called intergenerational equity meaning if the father is enjoying something today the same resources should be available for the son also so that is intergenerational equity and it is also an important part of inclusive growth it doesn't mean that in order to grow we will com completely exhaust our resources we will not leave anything for our future generations so that is not uh, expected out of economy of, out of inclusive growth environmental sustainability should also be there for the growth process for economic growth we cannot allow our environmental uh, degradation we have to ensure that the resources are utilized responsibly judiciously without compromising the need of the future generation we cannot completely exhaust our water resources we cannot completely run down our ground water so all these things are part of important part of inclusive growth sustainability is also very important and this is called intergenerational equity and here what we are talking about is this social justice uh, you know employment generation reduction in poverty broad based growth these are intergenerational equity okay intergenerational meaning within this generation only intergenerational equity and this is sustainability is basically intergenerational equity then focus on human development uh, whether there is human development or not now what is the meaning of human development basically there whether the human capital is formed in the country or not by giving them proper education skill development health facilities or not to enhance the productivity and economic participation of the of the uh, population that is present in the country policy and institutional support needs to be there for inclusive growth we have to reduce the systemic barriers such as corruption inadequate infrastructure discriminatory practices that hinder growth so these also needs to be reduced and the growth that emerges out of it will be 
इंक्लूसिव फिनेंशियल इंक्लूजन बैंकिंग ओके क्रेडिट इंश्योरेंस पेंशन दिज आर दैरियस फिनेंशियल पिलर्स दैट नीड टू बी एंश्योर फॉर ऑल सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी वेदर एवरी सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी इज गेटिंग एक्सेस टू बैंकिंग सर्विस और नॉट वेदर एवरी सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी इज एबल टू गेट लोन्स और नॉट whether every society whether whether every section of society is able to obtain some kind of insurance or not like for example you know pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana then pradhan mantri uh, pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana so these are the various schemes atal pension yojana okay for insurance and pension meaning these are the social security support to marginalized section like women uh, disabled uh elderly uh, elderly people so under this we have indira gandhi national old age pension indira gandhi national widow pension like that so these are the various pillars of financial inclusion and financial inclusion is a part of economic uh, growth inclusive growth and a broad in broader sense economic inclusion okay so economic inclusion meaning meaning all these things meaning everything it includes uh, you know development of human capital sustainability access to basic services whereas financial inclusion is also a part of economic uh, inclusion okay then infrastructure development uh, by, through uh, economic growth roads electricity digital connectivity for everyone Ag again again for everybody so it is not that and everywhere it is not that you know this uh, infrastructures are enjoyed only and only by a few sections of society prioritize underserved areas okay people who are not yet who are not yet enjoying this infrastructure to reduce regional disparities so again it is part of giving opportunity to everyone giving infrastructure facility to everybody participation and empowerment decision making process so whether different sections of society are able to participate in decision making or not whether they are part of the state legislatures or not whether they are part of the parliament or not whether they are part of the panchayats or not whether they are uh, you know uh, making any decision uh, any economic decision for their village for their city for their towns or not so participation is very very important and for that we have various measures like you know reservation uh, in uh, reservation in in panchayats reservation for the post of sarpanch for chairman in municipality uh, you know now we have 33% reservation bill uh, for uh, parliament also so these are the various means through which we we ensure participation by various marginalized sections of society then safety nets and social security uh, subsidies pensions unemployment benefits to ensure protection against economic shocks and vulnerabilities this also is a feature of uh, inclusive growth because if we give this then people will have a kind of social security through which they can rise and human capital can be developed in the country so this was an introductory video about the inclusive growth we will look at it in much uh, you know uh, deeper way uh, in the following videos thank you